I want to share some tips for helping you get your spouse or your partner into camping. This was a question I got a couple weeks ago on how do I get my girlfriend into camping. I've gotten this question a few times in different forms. And so these are some of my top tips to help you do that. We're going to hop in the tent because it's all about the sleep system. Welcome to the tent. I love our little cozy tent set up here, but there's a couple things that make a huge difference when you sleep at night and being able to sleep at night is huge. We've all had those restless nights at home where you're just tossing and turning, thinking about a million things, and then you wake up and you feel bad the next day. Well, when you're camping and tossing and turning like that, it sucks at night, but then also your outlook and your mood for the next day often is not great, right? So if you can prioritize setting things up to where your spouse can just enjoy sleeping and sleep well at camp, I think that makes a huge difference. Now, like I said, there are a couple items that I always think about that make a big difference and it is a pillow and the sleeping pad. Now I have a couple camping pillows here that I'll bring for shorter trips, but if I'm going on a longer trip, I will also just grab my pillow from home because I love my pillow at home. And so with that, my next tip is to pack some of the luxury items that your spouse might want, like a really nice pillow. We're not backpacking here, we're driving up to a campsite. So if you can just fit it in your car, something as simple as a pillow, can make a big difference. Another luxury item that I think of for me is just a really nice coffee setup. I love that quiet, peaceful moment in the morning and just having my cup of coffee. So I bring a nice coffee mug and some nice pour over stuff and a grinder for the coffee and just make that into a fun little experience of, of luxury camping. So instead of instant coffee, which I do like some instant coffee, but uh, just having a good coffee setup is really one of those luxuries for me that I love to pack. My next tip is to talk to your partner about what they might be afraid of when it comes to camping. A lot of times when we're trying something new, never done it before, we build up a lot of things in our head that are actually not really a big deal. And so if you can talk to them about some of the things that they're worried about, you might be able to ease some of those uh, hesitations when it comes to camping. If they maybe have gone camping before and they had a bad experience, what was bad about it? How can you fix that and make it better? Uh, you can also talk to them about the bathroom. Maybe they're like, I do not want to dig a hole to go to the bathroom so you know that you want to try to find those flushable toilets. You can go online for different campgrounds and you can see what facilities are available. You can find campgrounds that have just nicer bathroom facilities such as a flushable toilet. So really having a good conversation and easing some of those fears beforehand and setting good realistic expectations can help a lot. Next would be to pick a really scenic place to go camping. It's kind of cool because it allows you to potentially stay in some really cool places and wake up in the morning and do some activities. So think through the location and some of the activities that would be exciting to do. When Nick and I go camping, we have little pack rafts now and we love to take those pack rafts out and swim. And so a lot of times we'll camp near a reservoir or a lake where we can actually go out and do that activity in during the day and then come back to camp in the evening. So there's a lot of options. And if you kind of think through some of the fun activities that you can do in the area, it can make the whole trip really exciting. And then, you know, check the weather. If you're booking campsites in advance, you can't maybe know the weather, um, but ideally good weather is just going to be a little bit easier for camping as opposed to camping in a thunderstorm. So if you can kind of plan around some good weather in a good area with some activities, it can be really exciting and fun to camp. My next tip is a little bit different. But the reality is camping is going to be uncomfortable at times. And that is okay. <laughs> there is a book called The Comfort Crisis, which is one of my favorite books. Highly recommend it. And if you enjoy it, maybe you can share it with your spouse or partner. It, it really is a powerful book because it talks a lot about the benefits of being a little bit uncomfortable. And I shared this with one of my friends. She loves to read and she texted me after she read it and she's like, can you take me camping? Same with my dad. He actually found the book on his own. I think his one of his friends recommended it and he starts telling me about it on the phone and talking about how he wanted to go camping and hiking more. So it's a pretty interesting book and it might give your spouse that nudge they need to give camping a try. My next tip will come as no surprise if you've seen a lot of my videos and it is to cook some delicious meals when you're camping. Now, if you're gonna just eat a bunch of packaged food and process things while you're camping, you're probably not gonna feel great and it's just not that 
fun. And for me, one of my favorite activities at camp is to actually cook some meals, spend that time with Nick, enjoy the meals in beautiful places without a bunch of distractions. And it's just a really nice activity, a way to connect. And I think it can be such a fun thing to do together when you're camping. So I have so many resources on this channel to help you plan and prepare your meals at camp, give you so many recipes that you can take and so maybe decide together some fun things that you want to try to cook and then just enjoy that process at camp. My last tip is all about the darkness. The sun has set here, it's getting dark, but if the darkness creates some anxiety and uneasiness, then consider planning your camping trip on or around a full moon. If there's no weather, a full moon is so bright. You can usually see pretty well without a headlamp on a full moon, and it just might alleviate a little bit of that anxiety and worry that comes from all the little sounds in the darkness and just being in a lot of darkness. I then need to bring an eye mask, so if you're sensitive to light, consider that because the moon can be pretty bright. The only downside to that is, depending on when the moon sets and rises, you might not get to see all the beautiful stars in the Milky Way. And that's one of the things I love about camping, but it is something that can really help with the darkness. So consider that if needed. And with that, those are my tips for helping you get your spouse or your partner into camping. I hope this is helpful. Share your stories, share your comments below this video and check out some of the other resources I have on my channel over here. I have tons of camping tips and tricks. So check those out and I'll see you there. Ah! getting bitten.